the twin of Christ, the Gospel of Thomas, saying 108. Jesus says, He who drinks from my mouth will become like me, as for me I will become what he is, and what is hidden will be revealed to him. These are the hidden sayings that the living Jesus spoke to Judas Thomas, the twin. And he said, Whoever discovers what these sayings mean will not taste death. The Gospel of Thomas introduces itself as the hidden sayings of the living Jesus as recorded by Judas Thomas the twin. Even here in the introduction we are being introduced to the mysteries of the order of God. The writer calls himself the twin of Christ. He gives us this clue that the objective of the sayings to be revealed is not to simply tell us about the living Christ but so that we can become Christ's ourselves. We are to become twins with our teacher and master. He then shares with us the first saying of the living Jesus. The one who finds the understanding of these sayings will not taste death. Life is found in understanding the meaning of his sayings, the wisdom that is concealed in them. The deliverance of our beings comes when we become mature, fully grasping the meaning of the teachings of the living Lord Jesus. One could go through repetitive empty observance and the, member, and the remembering over and over of creeds and dogmas, but the true student is not interested in just learning about the Christ, but being formed into the image of our teacher, who is the image of God. We do this through the assimilation of divine wisdom being admitted into the school of the great teacher himself. We sit at the feet of the master, the living Christ, and are changed from glory to glory into the very image and nature of God. Jesus said to his disciples, compare me to something and tell me what I resemble. Simon Peter said to him, our just angel is what you resemble. Matthew said to him, An intelligent philosopher is what you resemble. Thomas said to him, Teach him my mouth. Utterly will not let me say what you resemble. Jesus said, I am not your teacher, for you have drunk and become intoxicated from the bubbling wellspring that I have personally measured out. Again, Jesus says, He who drinks from my mouth will become like me. As for me, I will become what he is, and what is hidden will be revealed to him. Thomas is called the twin of Jesus to designate a spiritual unity between the disciple and his master, as referenced there in saying 13, where Jesus says, I am not your teacher, because you have drunk and become intoxicated from the very spring from which I drew. Therefore, in the Gospel of Thomas, the living Jesus comes to reveal that you and he are twins, and what you discover as you read the sayings of the Lord is that you and Jesus at a deep level are identical twins when you discover that you are the child of God, just as Jesus is. Therefore, in saying 108, Jesus speaks to Thomas and says, Whoever drinks from my mouth will become as I am and I will become that person and the mysteries will be revealed to him. Our goal is to become like Jesus, that is to become his twin brothers and sisters and this is what Thomas means, the twin for Thomas symbolizes the one who has become like Jesus. See saying 108, we must become the twin brothers of Christ, who are the solitary or the single one, the few chosen out of the many called, the twin brethren in Christ. See Colossians chapter 1 and verse 2. Those who meditate on the words of Jesus are drinking from wisdom's fountain and become like or equal with Jesus. And this saying clearly states that the true believer who drinks from Jesus' mouth, becomes Christ himself, 
drinking is done by means of investigating and finding the symbolic meanings of the parables and proverbs Jesus' words as is discussed at the beginning of the Gospel of Thomas.